Oh, we love to see it. And we are starting things off tonight in Sin City. The excitement, as you can tell, it's not only building in Las Vegas, it's also building here in Sacramento as we inch closer and closer to Super Bowl 58. Thanks so much for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Hunter Sowers. Happy Friday night, everybody. I'm Steve Large. CBS 13 is your home for all things Super Bowl 58. <laughs> and we have a team coverage event for you tonight on the big game. But before the kickoff, of course, there's the takeoff. CBS 13. Madison TV is with 49er faithful at the airport on their way to Vegas. Madison. Okay, right now at the airport, you're not going to see a ton of that red and gold because they've already taken off some of those last flights to Vegas or either boarding or are in the air en route to the game that fans are confident will end in the favor and the Lombardi Trophy will make its way back to the Bay. Feeling faithful? A simple question with a super answer. One that Niners fans say will get settled right here on Sunday at Allegiant Stadium. Before kickoff, there's takeoff. And we set out to find the red and gold nonstop to Vegas. We're waiting for fans. You can watch the game on CBS or... Well, I'm going to uh, the Super Bowl. And uh, I'm looking forward to ring six. I'm a diehard Niners fan, and I want to see them win because they are going to win. And we're going to go hang out with them and watch the Niners bring home that Super Bowl. The plan to get to Vegas is to feel the energy of the 49ers. We found first timers with tickets. I'm looking forward to watching um, my 49ers, Brock Purdy, go up against one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time and Patrick Mahomes. Seeing the halftime show, kind of like a free concert. Their confidence is contagious. Some fans opted to skip the strip for a shot at a bigger celebration. When they win, hey, you just won the Super Bowl. Where are you going next? We're going to Disneyland. Disneyland. Monday morning, you know it. There'll be a parade in Disneyland. We'll be there. Everyone, let's go. You can feel that energy. I'm sure those flights were a party just because of how many fans got on them. The airport tells me this day, of course, was not the only one that was filled with the faithful. They said the last few days this week heading to Vegas have looked just like this. So I can surmise that there's going to be a lot of Sacramento energy rooting for the Niners in Vegas, whether it's in the stadium or not. I love the fact that you had your uh, whiteboard up there <laughs> looking, but you didn't have to look hard for those Niner fans all dressed up and decked out in their in their red and gold. I wanted to ask you, like, are these people actually all going to the game or some of them just want to be in the city for the revelry? Yeah. Okay, shockingly, Steve, it was a half and half. The nine-year-old that we talked to who said he was most looking forward to the halftime show, he's actually going to be at the game, and that's what he's looking forward to the most. <laughs> but a lot of folks just said they couldn't afford the ticket to the game, so sitting at a bar on the Vegas Strip was the next best thing. 